Hello kids, have you tried to figure it out how a simple torch functions? Let us figure it out together. Remember that school bus which took Aman to school? How does that bus get energy to move? Yes, the bus gets petrol from the petrol pump and the petrol is the source of energy for the bus. When there is a power cut, that is no electricity is there and it becomes dark, then what do you do? You might use a torch. The torch is used to emit light in the darkness. The bulb glows when the torch is switched on. What happens when the switch is on? Let us open the torch and see what is inside it. We see a cell and a bulb inside it and few wire connections. Now where does the torch get energy from? You know it runs on electricity. But from where does the torch get that electricity? I know, you all will say it's from the cell inside it. And that's correct. The bus can be stopped when it doesn't need to go anywhere to save the petrol. Same way we can stop the electricity through the circuit when we don't need the light of the bulb. Otherwise the bulb would keep glowing and soon we will need to replace the cell with the new one. And so we switch off the bulb by turning off the switch of the torch. Why do we need to replace the cell when its power is over? That is when it is not able to light the bulb. We already know an electric cell produces electricity from the chemicals stored inside it. Chemicals are used to produce electricity inside the cell. So, a cell cannot produce electricity forever as the amount of chemicals inside a cell is limited. When the chemicals in the electric cell are used up, the electric cell stops producing electricity. The electric cell then needs to be replaced with a new one. Let us find out how switch stops the flow of current. Look inside the torch now. There is a gap in the circuit. We know that switch breaks the circuit and thus stops the current flowing through it. So when the switch is off, it creates a small gap in the circuit. Now the current cannot flow through this circuit as the path is incomplete and the bulb won't glow now. The switch is a part of circuit too. Let us turn the switch on. When we turn on the switch again, the bulb glows. So what has changed internally? Look, there is no gap in the circuit now. There is a complete path for the current to flow from the positive end to the negative end of the cell. So the electric circuit provides a complete path for the current to flow between the two terminals of the electric cell. What should we do when the torch is not working though the cells are inside it? The solution is simple, believe me. Check if they are placed correctly. Inside the torch also, there are markings to place the cell correctly. That is, it also has a positive and negative mark on it. We need to put the cells inside the torch with the plus side of the cell facing the plus marked inside the torch. The minus marked side of the cell would face the minus marked side of the torch. If you don't follow this, the torch will not work. Once the cells are put in the right manner, it would supply electricity to the bulb and the bulb will glow. At times, even if all the connections are right and the cells are placed correctly, the torch may not work. If the torch is not working, there can be some other problems too, like a cut wire inside the torch, no chemical left in the cell to produce electricity, or damaged bulb, etc. After knowing how the torch functions, it will be easier for you to figure out where is the problem and you should be able to fix it easily. Won't you feel good about yourself then? Yes, you will definitely. To sum up our lesson for today, now you know how a simple torch functions.
basically the cell inside the torch provides electricity to light the bulb a switch is a part of circuit to control the flow of current as and when required when the torch is switched on the circuit is complete and the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the cell and the bulb glows when the torch is switched off the circuit is broken there is no complete path for the current to flow and hence the glowing bulb stops to emit light that was all for today do analyze the torch at home and see how it functions bye bye kids